When you work as an artist, it's natural to be, you know, to be human being yourself and to talk you to. You have a narrative here that has to do with your own life and with the larger questions of existence. Anything we can think about or anything we can communicate about is about humanity. And in some of my work, it's been more direct. When I photographed streets, it was sort of about the unconscious part of um, decision-making or unconscious impulses that lead to certain uh, urban solutions. And then I turn my my attention to the family question. So what is you know, to capture a certain moment in the life of a family by using a rather uh, still moment of appreciation that that's the moment of the family in that particular time uh, with which I wanted to raise uh, attention to the fact that we are inescapably you're born into a family and that's the gift you get when you get born. My approach to photography came through through picture making. You know, I was a painter in the beginning, and then I I turned, uh, you know, I switched tools to the to, from the brush to the camera, which had partly to do with the fact that I wanted to address more the public in a way than in my own private life. And uh, so, in a respect, in a certain way, the camera is the most scientific tool, but it's not really scientific because it's the camera needs an author, so the author is always uh, subjective. The efficiency of art is debatable, and I feel that your art is a particular um, possibility to observe something in silence, I would say. Maybe that's a classical approach to looking at art, uh, but it's a particular opportunity to, uh, to deal with something that is a kind of riddle that the observer has to uh, you know, to to uncover or to solve, and I, and I think it's a contemplative, uh, you know, thoughtful entity, which I appreciate very much, and I think that uh, has incre increasing importance today. This is the first time I, I I'm in cooperation with the Ipsa Foundation. I think it's a great opportunity to be here, to be invited, in particular to have a conversation with uh, James Beecham, who became a friend. And we, we had a discussion before in St. Louis at the museum, and uh, you're an artist and somebody works uh, as a particle physicist, uh, that's kind of a dream. And I'm thankful for the opportunity to do this. Could be a starting point for other conversations uh, between people who don't normally work together and come together from different fields.